everyone welcome back to my channel happy friday i am very excited to be here today with a post review for you guys so if you watched my very short whip and chat on wednesday i had mentioned that i was hopeful i would be able to finish this kit in time and i did i actually finished it on wednesday no Tuesday evening after I finished filming that video. So yay, I have a post review to share with you guys. And uh, let's just go ahead and talk about it. If you're new to my channel, I have a series that I do pretty much every Friday of the year where I talk about a kit that I recently finished. In this case, it is the kit that I just finished. I do not have another one going just yet. Um, but this is my final finish for the month of May. And it's one that I've been looking forward to working on for quite a while. So let's go ahead and get started. So today, I should have had my notebook open to the correct page. Today, we're going to be talking about Simple Country. This is a diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Chuck Pinson. This is a 74 centimeter by 56 centimeter round drill diamond painting. It has 43 colors with two ABs. I did not participate in any events with this one uh, in May, but it is on my 24 kits for 2024. So I was able to cross that one off. Uh, if you are looking for an update on my 24 kits in 2024, be on the lookout for a video next week because I do want to update you guys on where I'm at with my progress since we, we will be about halfway through the year. So. Uh, I started this diamond painting on May 19th. I finished it on May 28th, which seems a lot faster to me than it actually was. Uh, I will say that I had a four day weekend uh, in the middle of there, in the middle of there, in that time frame. <laughs> um, so I did have like extra time to diamond paint, but I'll get into why I feel like I was able to work on it so quickly in a second. Uh, this is my 14th finish of 2024, and it is my 147th finish since I started diamond painting. Before I get too much into talking about it, I am going to go ahead and pop up a full-length image for you guys here. You're seeing some of it, but um, it's a little bit too big for the frame. So hopefully I remember <laughs> to put that up on the screen. And I really liked this diamond painting. Now... When I first started way back in 2019 uh, with this craft, I really only did landscape diamond paintings. It wasn't until probably 2022 that I started to kind of mess around with the portraits and like the other type of kits that you guys see me work on. For a while, it was just landscapes. And for a while, I was doing a lot of Chuck Pinson's. Um, at one point, I was collecting all of his, <laughs> his his artwork that Diamond Art Club has, but they went through a stretch where they were releasing one like every single weekend, and I just wasn't able to 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 stay caught up with the releases. Uh, they are on my wish list. I am hoping that at some point I can complete my collection, but uh, this is definitely one of the older ones. When I kitted this one up with you guys, I did tell you when I purchased it. I don't remember at this point. I want to say it was some point in 2020. I might be wrong, but I love it. <laughs> so they don't, Diamond Art Club doesn't really release Chuck Pinson's artwork in this size anymore. A lot of them are 80 by 90 or even larger. And I wish that they still did this 74 by 56 size. This was a really popular size with them back in the day. And this is probably one of my favorites. It's just, it's really manageable. It feels like you're actually moving through your kit pretty quickly. Um, some of those super, super large ones can get really discouraging because it just feels like it's taking forever. Now, I know not everybody cares about when they're finishing kits, how many kits they're finish finishing, but... For me, as someone who has a large stash, the way I justify to myself, because I know I don't have to justify it to anybody else, but the way I justify it to myself is that I tend to finish three to four kits a month. So having a larger stash is <laughs> maybe a bit more forgivable when you're able to complete the diamond paintings. So for me personally, when I'm working on those really, really big ones, I'm only finishing one kit a month. I just get a little discouraged if that is what you prefer and if that's what you're capable of doing or what you want to do, kudos to you. I wish I could 
be the same. <laughs> but we know that I'm a little uppity with my kit planning and how many kits I finish. It's just how my brain works. All that is to say, I do wish that Diamond Art Club would release more Chuck Pinsons in this size and more of them in rounds. I cannot tell you the last time they released a Chuck Pinson in a round. I think I have like two or three left in my stash from this artist and I do have a lot of Chuck Pinsons. So I just wish we could have more rounds, but obviously the squares are preferred for a lot of landscapes because you get more detail. I understand this. This is just me not loving square drills right now and wanting just rounds. <laughs> this is a Laura problem, not a diamond painting community wide problem. But in terms of this diamond painting, I was surprised when I was updating my my um, my logbook here, if you've never seen it. Um, I was surprised when I put down the dates that I finished it so quickly. So again, I started it on the 19th and I finished it on the 28th. Um, one of the things that was really nice about this particular landscape is that there was a lot of color blocking. Now, if you've worked on a Chuck Pinson or you've worked on a, another landscape, generally there is a lot of confetti. But because this image, I know it's in the name, it's called Simple Country, but because this image is more on the simple side, I feel like that allowed for some more color blocking. Obviously in the house, in the, this is a big tree here. So in the bark of this tree, it's just a lot of brown. Um, I just felt like I was able to get pretty large sections done when I was sitting down to diamond paint. Um, I, I feel like for it being rounds and for it being this particular size, which I know for some people is small, believe it or not, I feel like it came together really nicely and the rendering is is great. I think it looks really nice from a distance. Could it have been clearer if it was larger or if it was in squares? Yes. But do I need it to be? No, because I feel like for what it is, it came out really, really nice. Uh, one thing that I do want to talk about is I did struggle a lot with the clear cover on this one. Now, like I mentioned, I think this one has been in my stash since 2020. Um, I had pulled it out a couple of times because I wanted to work on it last year and I just wasn't able to. The clear cover was nearly impossible to pull off of some sections. So I don't know if that's because it's been sitting for a while I know that that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> like just because the diamond painting sits doesn't mean that you'll have problems with the clear cover. I don't know if it was that. I don't know if it was the clear cover was put in, put on too soon after the poured glue was done. So like the glue didn't have enough time to cure. I really don't know why. The only other time that I can recall having that issue was with a kit from another company. Um, and the entire cover was like nearly impossible to get off. I finally got it off and I, reco I recovered everything with release papers. I recall the company, not Diamond Art Club, it's a different company. I recall them saying at that time that due to like the drastic temperature changes from where it was manufactured to where it was distributed to then where it was shipped to the customer, that the temperature changes affected the cover paper. So it could be that. What I can compare it to, I meant to take a video, but I forgot. <laughs> um, I can. What I can compare it to though is the clear cover. If you put it on, like if you take the clear cover off and you go to put it back on and you don't put it on the exact same way, you put it on upside down, it can be really hard to get the cover off. And that's kind of what it felt like for this. Now I have never removed that cover. So I don't know if that's what happened or if it was more of a temperature thing or who knows, something else. Um, I just wanted to mention that in, in case any of you potentially have this kit in your stash and it's been sitting for a bit. Um, again, I don't think it's because it was sitting in my stash and I do keep my stash upstairs in our spare bedroom, which is, you know, temperature controlled. So it's not like it was sitting in my basement, then I would kind of be like, oh, okay, maybe that's not the best space. Like they were in my house <laughs> where we have heating and air conditioning and, 
and all that stuff. So it could be a temperature thing. It could be something else. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on that. Um, let's go ahead and, well, I want to touch on the rendering one more time. Sorry, I feel like I'm a little bit spacey today. <laughs> but this was definitely pretty monotone in color. I don't know if that's the correct way. I mean, I know how to correctly use that word, but I feel like it fits into this sentence. <laughs> Um, there were a lot of neutrals, which generally, if you're working on a landscape, you're probably expecting that. So we did have a lot of like the creams and browns. We had a bunch of green. So I really enjoyed the pops of color of the trees and the flowers. So we have this really pretty purple tree over here. We have some pops of red in these bushes. Um, there's some blue ABs in this bush over here, another purple, um, bush or mini tree over here and then we have a really cute little cat in the bottom <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> so sorry about that so i even though this was a pretty bland color palette i did still enjoy working on it because i liked having those pops of color but also I haven't really worked on a lot of kits this year that have this color palette or this like neutrally tone. So it was just kind of nice for me to kind of mix that up a little bit. As far as rendering, like I mentioned, I think it turned out great. I really do like uh, how everything looks. Um, one of my favorite things about landscapes is every time you look at it, you can kind of like pick something else out that you maybe didn't notice before. So like we have a little birdhouse on the front of the tree here. Obviously we have a really cute tire swing. Um, we have the kitty down here, like I mentioned, but I think that this is just a really simple, effective landscape. You know, it just kind of brings you back a little bit. I grew up in like an old school farmhouse. Ours was yellow with blue shutters, but it just kind of takes you back a little bit to, um, to simpler times, if you will. <laughs> so the name definitely suits this diamond painting. Let's go ahead and talk about the drills. Oops. So I kitted this one up in my Harbor Freight containers. Again, there is a kit in chat for this particular diamond painting if you check my 2024 whip and chat slash kit and chat playlist you will find that one um these are the old diamond art club rounds now i didn't touch on this when i was talking about the kit the old diamond art club canvases are my favorite and i mean like older when i first started with diamond art club in 2020 they have made numerous changes and upgrades and their kits are still really good but I loved the drill field on the older kits. I loved uh, the drills are just phenomenal. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. Um, there are definitely people who prefer the new rounds and that is great. I don't mind them, but whenever I work on one of these older kits, I just get so giddy because it's like, oh, it's my favorite rounds, yay. <laughs> so the drills were really good. I did have a little bit of trash, so I will share that with you guys in a second. But unfortunately, I did run out of a color, which was not unheard of for Diamond Art Club back then. I feel like they've kind of figured out their percentage of extra drills at this point. It's pretty rare that I run out of drills on the newer Diamond Art Club kits, but way back, <laughs> it was known to happen. Uh, so I did run out of 937. However, I did have this color in my spare drill storage. It is a couple different shades of 937, but in a landscape, it just kind of adds a bit more detail. So I did not mind that. Uh, as far as the other colors, I had plenty of everything else. Um, and the drills were pretty good quality. For trash, I did have, I would say I had a decent amount. Um, a lot of them are just little like misshapen drills. So they're like little extra balls of, bring some light over Laura. So hopefully you guys can see that. Just little extra or like weirdly shaped pieces of material. And 
yeah, that's kind of it. That's how I feel about the trash. I, I enjoy these drills enough that I don't care about the trash, but I always like to share that with you guys in my post reviews. And obviously I like to share when I run out of a color. As far as my accessories, I have a tray here from Bella Art Dana Cole. This is the older style. I don't know. I feel like they brought these back at one point. I just don't know if they still make them or not. I was struggling to find one that matched how I wanted it to. So I just decided to go for white because when in doubt, <laughs> white accessories seem to win out. Um, I have this really pretty like eucalyptus, I think this is, washi tape. This is from Amanda Michelle Designs, who is back open. Yay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself from placing an order just because she opened back up. I used the Swax Putty. This is from Abigail Marie. Uh, this is in her wedding scent, which is mahogany teakwood in orange. Smelled very good. Um, I did not have to refill my pen for the entire kit. So I feel like that's when I give a putty like a check mark is if I can do an entire kit, like a reasonably sized kit. But if I can get through the whole thing without having to refill my putty, that is a win. My cover minder, I believe is from Galloway's Gallery. I could be wrong. I've had it for a while. <laughs> I just liked the, the daisies. And then I have two pens here. This one is from Mad Wood Turning. Now I will say, talking about Abigail Marie's putty, I don't love that for special drills. I find it is a little bit too sticky to release ABs. So what I ended up doing is using this single-sided pen with a four placer, and then I just put in some, what is that? <laughs> uh, I put in some Diamond Art Club pink wax, and I used this for my ABs, which worked out pretty well. And then this pen is also from Madwood Turnings. This is my seven placer with the putty from Abigail Marie. So those are my accessories. I'll go ahead and pop up one more uh, finished photo for you guys here. I really did enjoy this one. I'm so happy that I was able to to get this one completed this year. Like I mentioned a couple of times, this one was on my list, I think twice in 2023, and it just ended up being the one that got shuffled out <laughs> of line. So I'm really happy to have the finish. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Let me know if you've completed this one. Um, I think I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, I will be back with you all for my regular schedule next week, which will mean a video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope to see you guys then. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye.